In the grounds of Capel Cemetery, an unexpected surprise. So I'm happy to say that we've got one here. Using X-ray technology, an unmarked grave from the early 1900s has been found many metres from where it was originally thought to be. We really thought that he would be located in the older part of the cemeteries. It's one of the few remaining grave sites this group of volunteers has on a long list. They started over two years ago with little more than a mud map of likely locations and historic photos. We've been working our way through the the cemetery um, row by row and gap by gap and we have made some wonderful discoveries so it has been a, a very much like a big puzzle. The painstaking detective work has revived stories of past generations almost forgotten. On a headstone there's a, a birth and a death date and in between those is the dash and the dash is someone's life, that's their story and that's the theme of our project. We, we need to tell that dash, tell their stories. The group used local knowledge to help locate coffins, shrouds and bones buried last century at a variety of depths. A normal virgin ground would have um, a fairly consistent pattern to it and then when we come across uh, an anomaly, um, whether that be a, a, a casket or remains in this case or uh, utilities for the, our normal work, then um, we just find some anomalies showing up on the screen. The volunteers have now discovered 100 previously unmarked graves of men, women and children buried here at Capel Cemetery. And in doing so, it's helped bring their stories back to life. The stories, including records of military service, can now be seen on this website. Delma Cuthbert's great-great-grandmother and great-great-aunt are among them. It completes the story, I think, you know, to know where people are. They're just everyday people, but they're really important. They're what make us who we are. One small town celebrating their ancestors. Anthony Pansier, ABC News, Capel.